In the comment section of a recent video, there was one person that said, I'm tired of hearing Ravens fans talk about DeAndre Hopkins. They need to just give it up. They need to quit it because it's not happening. They need to realize that it's not going down. Oh, really? <laughs> I know nothing is official yet, but according to this latest report, it's close. Shout out to the NFL chick, Rita. We got a lot of love for Rita. She, uh, she real good people. Um, she done came through on the channel a couple of times, and she will come through on the channel more times, too. Um, but she broke this, and, and she don't just break anything for no reason. Uh, when she says something, it, it's real. But she said, all right, so the streets say a D-hop to the Ravens is close. It's close. Trying to figure out draft compensation and money structure to the cap. Hopefully this means the Lamar deal is close too. Just streets talk, y'all. Time will tell. And then she followed that up and said, now remember, I said close. It's not a done deal yet. I don't think we'll know for sure until tomorrow. But streets say it's real smoke, not a smoke screen. And that's what we love to hear about DeAndre Hopkins. So now we, we're getting closer. We're getting close to this, this dream. Remember when, when we talked about how this would be a dream for me? This would be a dream for me. Like Odell Beckham Jr., that is great. I, I loved it. Keeping Rashad Bateman, great. Odell Beckham, Rashad, even Nelson Aguilar there too. Cool. Devin Duvernay, Jane Prochet, cool. But I, I continue to say, even before we got Odell Beckham Jr., I continue to say, Odell's nice and I love it. I love it. But they shouldn't stop there. That, that shouldn't be enough. Ravens shouldn't be like, all right, we're done. That's a wrap. But adding a Dion. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't play with me, Ravens. No, don't be done, man. Don't be done. Odell Beckham Jr. earlier today, he tweeted, book him. And that was this afternoon. Now, there were some people that tried to say, oh, he's talking about Devin Booker. That game was 12 hours ago. What would he be doing tweeting about a game that happened 12 hours ago? I don't want to hear nothing about it being about no Devin Booker. No. This is about something different. And, and, and I won't take any other answer. Well, then Lacey DaCosta, even Lacey DaCosta, EDC's wife, she got involved too. She just put a little purple heart emoji. But then I guess she was just getting too many replies or something because she deleted it. She said enough is enough. I ain't getting involved in all, this, all these cold words and whatnot. But... Again, we talked about Lamar Jackson last night. We talked about Odell Beckham Jr. and the Ravens, them putting all their emojis and stuff and them, their little subliminals and whatnot. And, hey, we know something big is going down. And if it is the Andre Hopkins. <laughs> hey, see, one of my favorite parts about this whole thing right now, man, is that if this is true, if this goes down, we will definitely know by tomorrow. Why? Because the compensation, whatever the compensation is that it's going to take to land a DeAndre Hopkins, the draft starts tomorrow. So they're going to want to get that whole thing squared away ASAP. Because since the draft starts tomorrow, the Cardinals are going to want to know what type of compensation they have. The Ravens are going to know what type of compensation they have. If it involves a first-round pick, if it involves swapping first-round picks, if it, if it, whatever it involves, they're going to want to get that squared away before draft time. So this would be great. Oh, man, this would be great. And I've seen quite a few Ravens fans say, we deserve it. We deserve it. That's because we do. We, we do. After the, the Ravens' years of them just neglecting the wide receiver position almost. Just years of them just doing enough to get by at that position almost. This would be a beautiful thing. I, I would be so happy. Now, again, this is something that should have happened years ago. Whether DeAndre Hopkins or not, whether Odell Beckham Jr. or not, this is something that this should have been the approach years ago. After 2019, this should have been the approach from that point moving forward. Because you should have been like, oh man, Lamar did this with a injured Hollywood, uh, a Miles Boykin, Willie Sneed, Seth Roberts. He did that with them. Oh, 
Imagine what he could do if this room got upgraded. Imagine. But it is what it is. That's the past. And we're here now. And this move would just really just shock me. It, it, would, it would shock me because it's like it, it's really, it would really be the Ravens going against the grain, so to speak. It would be them going against their own ways, going against exactly how they operate, exactly how they do things. It would be them just completely flipping the script. To have somebody who was once the best receiver in the game and still one of the top receivers in the game now, don't get it twisted. And then I have Odell Beckham Jr., somebody else who used to be considered one of the top receivers in the game. And he had an off year, like literally an entire year off. Um, but now he could possibly be a refreshed Odell Beckham Jr. And with DeAndre Hopkins, you know, he, he did get suspended last year for a little bit, so he missed some time with that. Um, but this just, this would be great, man. And then, again, you cannot forget about Rashad Bateman. You can't forget about Rashad Bateman. Now, again, my hope is that none of those top three have to go anywhere because that's the only thing I would be scared about if one of those top three had to exit the building. Um, I, well, obviously not DeAndre Hopkins or Odell Beckham Jr. because they would just be coming in, but I would hope that Rashad Bateman would not be involved in any type of trade, compensation, any of that because I want, I want the Ravens to have all three. I want them to have all three. Again, it's been brought up, oh, yeah, there's only one football to go around. That, that's true. I think it's a good problem to have, though. I think it's a great problem to have because the Ravens haven't really had that problem, especially with as far as the passing game. Running game, oh, yeah, they, they, they've had that problem. Remember Mark, Mark Ingram, J.K. Dobbins, and Gus Edwards all back there together. Hey, man, I'm getting a carry? Oh, no, you're getting a carry. Oh, you're getting a carry, too? Oh, man, you're getting a carry? Okay, now it's going back to you. Yeah, but... Never really had that problem at pass catcher. Just imagine. Imagine what that would do to defenses. Because it's like three wide receiver sets. You throw Mark Andrews out there too. Oh, my goodness, man. Just thinking about it, man. Oh, my goodness. Just thinking about it. If you, you got, oh, my goodness, man. If you could have DeAndre Hopkins, Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews. And then, of course, you got your five offensive linemen. But then you got J.K. Dobbins, too. And then on top of all that, you got Lamar Jack. Oh, my goodness, man. Y'all, oh, boy. Ravens, man. <laughs> Dog, this would be great, man. This would be great, like amazing. Just thinking about that, the problems that it would cause the defenses, man. Oh, but we're going to see. We, 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 we are going to see what happens with this whole thing, man. But shout out to the NFL chick. Shout out to Rita. You, you already know what time it is. Um, but, hey, I, I, I just hope the streets are right. And, and I know they ain't let you down or nothing like that. But um, I just hope they're right because that, that would be such a beautiful thing, man. Such a beautiful thing. It, 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 man, I, oh, and then on top of that, like, you got to feel like if Ravens are doing all this, if they stepping out there like this, if this goes down with a DeAndre, oh. <laughs> hey, like, I ain't going to say the SB word yet, man. I ain't going to say the phrase yet, but they get, ooh, and they keep Rashad, ooh, and then they keep Lamar, ooh, I ain't going to say it yet, I'm going to wait. It is official, but trust me, I'm going to be very close to, to getting on that bandwagon. Um, but anyway, this could all lead, if they do land a DeAndre Hopkins, this would definitely help lead to a Lamar Jackson staying too. Because it would just make sense. Because again, Mike Lombardi said it, but then Josina Anderson, she said it too, that Lamar Jackson told the Ravens to check on DeAndre Hopkins and Odell Beckham Jr. This would be do them doing that. This would be Lamar using his power, and this would be the Ravens using their power too. This would be both, both sides. And 
both of them use their power. And, and if they could be like Captain Planet when our powers combine, Captain Planet, but it will be Captain Contract. And then they could strike a long term deal, whether three years, four years, whatever it may be. They could just get all this done. And then we could move forward and, and then, then start the draft tomorrow. Oh my goodness, Ravens. Oh! <laughs> This is so exciting! Like I, y'all don't know what's going on inside of me right now, man. I I would just be so happy if this went. Dead. Like some of y'all that, especially y'all that been around for a long time, especially y'all that been around since 2020. Oh man, y'all know like when when they almost when they were tried to trade for DeAndre Hopkins, didn't try hard enough, but they tried to trade for DeAndre Hopkins back then. Almost cried. I, I was so hurt, man, because he he was my favorite receiver in the game back then. Still one of my favorite receivers in the game. And now that I think about it, I don't know who my favorite receiver right now in the game is. But anyway, this would be great. I know he's older than he was three years ago, obviously. But this, this, oh, this would be great. Oh, I'm just thinking about the offense, man. This would be great. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Y'all know I, I keep y'all posted. If I hear anything, I know if y'all hear anything, y'all keep me posted too. But I love y'all so much, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And just like hopefully DeAndre Hopkins can tell the Cardinals after being traded to the Ravens, I'm out. I love y'all.